Last night, Q2 Scott Breen took us to the set of NCIS, the nation's and world's number one rated television drama. Now, Scott's friend writes for the show, and his latest episode airs a little over an hour from now right here on Q2. And we're very excited tonight. Scott takes us back on location for a little sneak peek to show us why tonight's show is so unique. So the plot of the 350th episode is we have a witness to a crime, and that witness happens to be blind. Now you may ask yourself, you know, how does a you know, blind individual can be a key witness to, to one of our cases? Uh, well, our actress officially becomes an ear witness. The title is Sight Unseen. Feely started writing this episode three months ago, then last month took 10 days to shoot it. Here's why it was additionally challenging. One of the ideas that we had early on was, wouldn't this be really interesting if we could actually cast a real blind person to play a blind character? What a lot of people might overlook is Marilee's challenge of moving through sets without bumping into boom microphones, tables, or other props. So here's what she did. I wrote up a cheat sheet of about, I don't know, 20 different things that was just all the facts about my vision and how it might um, apply to set. I prefer dark over lights. I might need a guide in certain areas. Uh, if you give me direction and there's lights up, I'm gonna listen to you rather than look at you. Feely says he spent countless hours researching to add credibility to Marilee's character. One of the most valuable resources turned out to be a YouTube channel created by the blind. I got the best compliment ever when I met her for the very first time. She sat me down and she said, I think the first thing I said to Brendan was, you have blind friends. Who's your blind friend? I know you must have a blind friend. And I said, I don't. And she said, uh, well, you've really nailed this character. He really shaped um, the character in a way that it's, it's a person that I would know. In this episode, the crime she witnesses involves a sheriff's car plunging into the lake. Our agents uh, initially discount her uh, because there are other sighted witnesses to the crime. She makes me understand in her own most clever way uh, how she came about this. Did you see what he looked like? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm blind, Agent Torres. Um, I'm sorry. Why? No, I just uh, didn't. Wait, why did you try to jump in the lake? To try to save someone's life. Blind people can't swim, you know. Of course. We can cut our arm meat and feed ourselves, too. Okay. <laughs> we realized that what she heard is actually a little bit more important than what other witnesses saw. And in that process, Torres uh, not only humbles himself, but uh, uh, learns to appreciate, you know, the unique skill that she has developed. And there's a moment there where I need to ask for help, which is completely legitimate. It's by necessity. And he has to help me, but he has to learn how to help me. So we have this wonderful interaction of teaching, an educational moment, and then we get to why we're there. And here's why she was thrilled with the role. You just don't see these characters on television, and you certainly don't see them being played by actually blind, low vision actors. This is Marilee's first appearance on NCIS, but as a longtime fan of the show, that made it a little more daunting. Just listen to her first contact with lead actor Mark Harmon. I actually got very tongue-tied, very tongue-tied, and he was so generous, and he just hugged me and said he was so happy I was here. And after that, it was feeling like I was part of a family already, even though I was only going to be here for a few days. And Scott joins us now. Scott, what a great story, all of these. What surprised you the most about being down there? You know what? Uh, without a doubt, the amount of time and detail oh. spent on a single episode behind the scenes. Again, Brendan started writing this thing in mid-January. It's a 40-minute, 40 42-minute episode that airs tonight. So that's three months' worth of work put into uh, and behind the scenes and casting and that sort of stuff put into just one episode. Thanks. Whole new appreciation. Okay, so NCIS is so popular. This is the 15th season. How much longer is this show going to be on? I could tell you, but then I'd have to. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, bottom line is, yeah, they're, they're in their 15th season now, but they have signed on for at least one more season. Mark Harmon says he'll do another one, uh, but I have the feeling that it's basically year to year at this point. And